Scaling customer support is hard, especially with bigger teams. In this video tutorial, we're going to create a department bot where you can automatically assign a person or a team depending on the user problem. Let's get down to it. The first step is going to be to create a new scenario. So we have existing samples and we have the department bot here, which is going to be pretty similar to the scenario we're going to do today. But that's too easy. We're going to create one from scratch. So a new blank scenario. Let's rename it. So custom uh, routing uh, bot. So let's click on the entry gate, event, user message matches. What we want is our bot to be triggered using any kind of user message. We could also select different origins such as WhatsApp or Messenger. Now next step is going to be to send a picker message. Uh, so for this we're going to click on plus, action, send message, and then picker message. The other way would be to use drag and drop. So for this, we click on the left corner, action, and we drag the block like this. We can configure the block to fit our needs. So welcome at Acme. Uh, and then uh, we can configure uh, different departments. So first department, which is going to be tech. Second department, which is going to be uh, sales. And we can do a third one, which could be uh, counting. We can also select an emoji for each uh, department. Now we can do a branch uh, like this for every button. So it's going to allow us to change different actions based on the selected button. So here we're going to do um, a segment. So segments are under action. update user and update user segment. And uh, we're going to now configure our segment. We're going to be tech. So we could also use drag and drop for the other blocks. But here, what I'm going to do is to copy paste uh, instead. So let's wire those new blocks. And we're going to update each block here to use the sales segment and here to use the accounting segment. Good. Uh, now we could tweak things a little bit. We can reorganize the scenario. Let's add a new block. So here we're going to send a text message for tech issues. And we're going to do the same as well um, for the sales and accounting. So for sales, we could do a new picker, for instance, if the user uh, wants to do a, a product demo. Like this, and for uh, accounting, we could, for instance, ask for uh, an invoice ID or order ID, something like that. Just make sure to update the placeholder here because the example was for uh, a username. And let's force the user to continue. Good. So now uh, we're going to save. We can test the, the scenario. Hello. And now we have different choices. Let's click on accounting. And as you can see now, it asks for an account ID. So uh, what we could do now uh, is to chain this with the crisp routing. So the ID is going to be to automatically assign team members based on the previous options. So tech, sales, or accounting. So for this, I go to the crisp settings. Uh, we're going to go to message routing rules routing rules, then we're going to create a new routing rule. So the first is going to be for tech, advanced condition, new filter, we're going to do a chat segment equals to, and it's going to be tech, which is um, the segment we assign for tech issues. And let's pick two team members. 
we save it and we're gonna do the same uh, for sales. Advanced condition, new filter, segment equals two, and we're gonna pick sales and then two other uh, team members. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any tips and tricks about CRISP.